Hi. So let's quickly revise what are the basic concepts in geometry. Now, so the first concept you want to learn is the number line. Now, what is a number line? A line which contains numbers is a number line. A simple thing. Now, nine can also contain certain points. For example, A, B, C, D, E. Now, how do we read this number line? Now, you can see point A is corresponding to the point minus 4, right? So, I can say the coordinate of A is minus 4, whereas the coordinate of B is minus 3 and so on. So, this is how you read the number line. The numbers are called as coordinates, whereas the alphabets are called as the points, okay? Now, how do we find the distance between two points using these coordinates? Uh, you can see in this example, if you have to find the distance between D and E, then we need to see the coordinates of D and E. You can see the coordinate of point E is 4, whereas the coordinate of point D is 3. So, what we do is we minus, we subtract the larger coordinate from the smaller coordinate. So, it will be 4 minus 3, that will give you 1. So, the distance between D and E is 1 unit. Similarly, if we have to find the distance between C and D, okay, two points C and D, you can see the coordinate of C is 0 and the coordinate of D is 3. So, which is the larger one? 3, right? So, you have to subtract 3 minus 0, that will give you 3 units. Similarly, we can look at the other questions as well. Distance between B and D, the coordinate of B is minus 3, where the coordinate of D is 3. So, which is the larger one? 3 is the larger one. So, 3 minus minus 3, that will give you 3 plus 3 and that is equal to 6, right? So, this is how we find the distance between two points. Now, once you have understood this, you can look at the next concept of addition of segments. How do we add different segments? Consider these two segments A, B and B, C. You can see point B is common point, right? So, what we can do is we can combine these two segments and we can now see that if we add both the segments, I will get a larger segment that is A, C. Okay. Exactly in the same way, we have to add its measurement as well. For example, if the measurement of A, B is 10 and measurement of B, C is 6. So, 10 plus 6, the measurement of A, C will be equal to 16. Now, exactly in the same way, this is how we subtract the segments as well. You can see at this example. Now, there are two segments A, B and B, C which are joined together. And once they are joined, the measurement of A, C, if it is given as 20 and the measurement of A, B is given as 12. So, how do we find B, C? We have to subtract A, B from A, C, right? The whole distance is 20 minus 12 and that will give you the measurement of B, C that is equal to 8. So, this is how you add and subtract the segments. Now, let's see how do we identify whether the three points are collinear or not. Okay. This addition and subtraction is only possible if the points are collinear. If the points are non-collinear, they don't lie on a line, then we cannot find the exact distances. Okay. So, we will now look into how to identify whether the three points given are collinear or not. Consider these three segments, segment AC, segment AB and segment BC. The measurements are given. Now, out of these measurements, we just have to identify first which are the smaller segments. Now, the two smaller segments are AB and BC, right? So, I'll draw AB and BC. Remember, B is the common point, right? So, I'll add all these two, add both the segments that will give you 9 plus 5, that will be equal to 14, right? Now, this measurement, is it equal to the larger segment? Yes, it is equal to the larger segment. So, I can say points A, B and C lie in a straight line, they are collinear and point B lies between A and C. So, this is how you represent the answer, okay. Consider the next example. In this segment AC, AB and BC is given, right. The measurements, okay, the two smaller measurements are 7 and 9, that's AC and AB, okay. Now, I will draw them. Remember, A is a common point this time. So, Adding these two, 9 plus 7, I will get as 16. Now, is it equal to the larger segment? No. So, the points are not lying on the same line. They are non-collinear points. So, this is how you identify whether the points are collinear or not. 
so these are some basic principles of addition of segments subtraction of segments finding the coordinates of any point as well as finding the distance between some points